What's the best way to test a rear-wheel drive sedan from Germany whose manufacturer claims their motto to be sheer driving pleasure? How about a wet day in Bangalore? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this F33-28i with quite a lot of tasteful mods. God decided to shower us with some blessings, so definitely we're going to be having some fun in this car. Let's talk all about this Stage 1 328i. Now before we start this video, as you can see, the weather was not on our side today and unfortunately we could not take any rolling shots or action shots of this car. This will be more on the informative side and a guide as to what you should be expecting when picking up a BMW 328i. So if you want to know more then please do continue watching but if you're expecting some insane sideways action with the car shooting flames or something, sorry to be the bearer of bad news, this video won't have that. Personally, if you ask me, my favourite generation of BMW is the F series. It's a very timeless design and nobody would ever realize that this design is almost 12 years old now. In fact, it is a very timeless look which always looks good in every occasion, which is something that's very difficult to do. Plus, as you can see, it's in black and in my opinion, it is very difficult to make a good looking car in black. If the shapes are not right, in black, it's never going to look good. But look at this, fantastic. The owner has gone for some sporty touches here and there, but it's still very subtle. Like you can see the grill has two slits now, like the M Sport style. Uh, you've got a more aggressive ORVM cover, which makes it sportier and a very subtle lip spoiler at the back. The stance in this 328i is also slightly different. Uh, the rear used to come with a small spacer that would increase the right height and the rear. The owner has decided to remove that spacer and the dampers are also now Bilstein B6s. So the ride height is still the same, but the quality of ride is much better, much nicer. All in all, the car looks very stock and definitely you wouldn't know that this is a built car unless you heard it or you opened the bonnet. Let's talk about that. Under the hood of the F33 28i is a really peculiar engine. This is an N20 B20, which is the predecessor to the B48 and it has a few characteristics of the B48 too, uh, good and bad, like it is a peppy block, it does like to rev pretty nicely and uh, it does pack quite a bit of power but it isn't a perfect block. In fact, if you are quite a geek, you know that this engine got a class action suit in the US because of its timing chain issues. The plastic guides would just disintegrate and they would create quite a lot of problems and if the timing chain would slip off, your piston would hit the head and it's goodbye engine from there. However, it is still a very nice block and there is some tuning potential. Not many people built the out of this engine because, I mean, let's be honest, it doesn't have a lot of potential but it's still a pretty sweet block. When it comes to the mods of this specific N20, the owner has gone for some really tasteful mods and most of them are behind cooling because just like the B48, this also has a lot of heat soak issues. So it is definitely recommended to finish off all of the cooling mods before searching for power and you will get much more reliable power which is what you need. You don't want it to just do one run and be like losing power in the next one. So the owner has gone for FTP boost pipes, uh, charge pipes from FTP2. It's also got an MST turbo inlet and a Wagner Evo 1 intercooler. It's also got an M performance exhaust that is axle back and it's very nice to listen to. Take a listen. Step inside the F33 28i and you're still in disbelief that this car is actually 12 years old. In fact, this car is in such good nick that all of the leathers are 
as good as new, no blemishes, no stretch marks and all of the buttons and the switch gear works very well. In fact, it is a very modern place to be in if you do not consider the age of maybe the software or the dials being a bit too old school. However, it is a very nice place to be in and you will never feel like you're out of place or even in a place that is old. It is very nice, super sporty as you'd expect a BMW to be. And the owner has done some really small, subtle, tasteful mods for it. Like this chonky uh, wrap of Alcantara on the steering wheel makes it very nice to hold. You've got a red button, which looks cool uh, for a start stop. And you've also got a BMW a uh, fire extinguisher under the seat is just a cool touch. Okay, so behind the wheel of this rather rare car, a 328i F30, I'm uh, sat alongside the owner, the lucky man, Mr. Suhas. And uh, he's also quite an enthusiast. He's been an enthusiast for a very long time and he's also a moderator at Team BHP. So he knows his stuff. And as you can see, the car, <laughs> as you can see, the car is also in great nick understandable first impressions in my opinion are just how easy the car is to drive still and from a B B48 uh, perspective this is a little less peppy but it still doesn't lack that little oomph in the beginning in fact this twin scroll turbo is very compliant and it's very nice even in the lower revs giving you enough oomph to get out of any form of uh, situation you're in. And one good thing about this F-Series is that it's just so easy to drive angrily. Now, I wanted to ask you. Yes. How is, how has your experience been uh, owning it? Have you seen any issues or what would you give as advice to other 328i owners that want to maybe spruce up their car a little bit? Yeah, so, um, I would say that uh, there are no issues as such because uh, BMW uh, made um, significant progress with the F series and the F generation of the BMWs um, uh, in terms of reliability at, le at least. But uh, having said that, I would still say that uh, uh, anyone looking to buy a car like this should address some of the concerns that uh, uh, the 328i uh, cars generally have. One being uh, uh, the timing chain, which is a which is an issue which is known worldwide. And uh, uh, you know, overhauling the timing chain is uh, absolutely essential, especially if you're tuning the car. And um, uh, it's not too, uh, it's not prohibitively expensive either. So I would uh, very strongly recommend people do it. I think this N20 series got quite a lot of slack because yeah. of all of the class action suits yeah. that happened in the yeah, US. Yeah, yeah. But in fact, it's a very nice block. It's a good engine. Now, yeah. Considering they were not designed to be modified in India, right. they have the same trait that the B the B forty eight does is yeah, yeah. heat soak. It's yeah. not the most tuner friendly. Engines. Aggressive amounts of heat soak, yeah. yeah, yeah. And they're not very tuner friendly. Yeah. In terms of they've they've been designed to a certain true, true. Uh, limit. True. However, there there are a lot of people abroad yes. who have gone <laughs> out in this car. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. in those temperatures. There were no IAT issues, but in India, you definitely would recommend someone to go first for all of the cooling mods. Yes, uh, definitely. So, uh, so I, I think you may have already mentioned uh, to your viewers that uh, you have uh, that that I have installed uh, charge pipes and boost pipes. Now, uh, this modification is something that I did uh, not because I wanted more power or performance, but uh, so so the plumbing. The piping work in this car is made of plastic and it's quite brittle and because of uh, uh, repeated heat cycles, right, uh, uh, getting hot and cold uh, pretty often, the, the plastic tends to crack and break, especially if you're running a tune. So I decided to swap out the uh, old uh, plastic charge pipes for uh, uh, metal charge pipes made by this brand called FTP. And also I've paired it with uh, Wagner tuning uh, Evo 1 intercooler 
which is rated to about 400 odd brake horsepower which this car is never going to see anyway so uh, you never know <laughs> well let's see <laughs> time will tell <laughs> it's a very compliant car to drive yeah. like you wouldn't be afraid you should to... gun it now okay spinning <laughs> all over <laughs> oh man wow the turbo just is so linear in fact 1800 plus and it is just as an any car it it feels so good feels very uh, non intrusive like you're not fighting you're not fighting the car for traction right and yeah i mean so the 3 series the fc the f chassis is has always been uh, that friendly car true true making it accessible a, yeah making it a very accessible car for people yeah. who are uh, just jumping into the performance but Correct. i mean the n20 i wouldn't suggest you Still if you are suggest, out yeah. for yeah. straight out performance yeah. then maybe yeah. search but uh, out of the box i would say still out of the box it's uh, it's got quite a uh, uh, decent amount of power 245 watt brake horsepower uh, from factory and yeah it is just a fun easy car to rip and it's not like you're going to be doing ridiculous speeds yes it is a fast car but it is more than handleable anything above this is just going to become a a nuisance in, in the road true i agree perfect city car it's i think you drive it on the daily daily driver yes and what else could you want well um, i have a a uh, laundry list of things that i would want to do please <laughs> do tell please do yeah, tell yeah so i um, mean i'm not uh, entirely satisfied with the brakes um i would like to upgrade to the m performance brakes which are essentially the same brakes on uh, the m3 of the same generation the f80 so that's one thing that i'm uh, seriously considering doing at some point in the future then uh, tires um yeah I, i would like to get some better tires uh, in the, the i mean it's scheduled for some time this year so definitely sometime this year when it uh, when the time comes i'm definitely going to get a down pipe at some point uh, <laughs> a little uh, bit more power a little more power just you know allowing the turbo to breathe a bit better you know spool a bit better stage 2 can't get out yeah i i, I will uh, apply the stage 2 map on it and then uh, i'll be looking at somewhere around 300 brake horsepower or so i mean 300 horsepower and this is going to be a pretty sweet spot i yeah. think it's pushing around 280 280 around that much right yeah around that much i would and say maybe 400 450 and of top around that much correct but i really think that if you are in the market for a 328i and you get your chance to buy one definitely pick it up trust me it is an expensive affair but you will really enjoy the outcome of it yes. and modding the n20 is a little limited but yeah. again you need you need to be careful yeah you need to understand the limits of the engine and uh, not uh, push it uh, beyond what it's uh, capable of doing but it's not roses and butterflies a cbu car like this parts usually do take time it is yeah. a discontinued uh, chassis yeah. so you will need to spend a little bit of money do a little bit of research however it is going to be satisfying yeah. and you're not going to regret it yeah. so that's uh, my ending for the day we are losing out on light and i yeah. want to continue enjoying this car so that's it from me that's suhas for you guys this is his 328i and i'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs> I'm just going sideways. <laughs>